Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to get a ZPR API key. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official zapier.com website right here if you haven't already. And after opening up the website, guys, you want to go ahead and log into your account. If you do not already have an account, just go ahead and create a new one. And after logging in, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, where you can see all the info that you can access, such as auto making your automations right here. You can create new zaps, see your dashboard, and so on. So guys, let's go ahead and see how you find a Zapier API key. So the first thing we need to do, guys, to be able to find an API key is to create an automation. So we can do that by clicking the Explore Zapier button right here in the upper right corner. And here we can see all the apps we can make it with. So find the app that you want to make it with, either Gmail, Google Sheets, doesn't matter. You can use the search bar right here to find your app. And go ahead and create your automation by clicking on it, create your Zap, and so on. So let's say that we have clicked the button right here to connect Gmail and create our automation, create our whole automation. And now guys, after you have done that, as you can see right here in Google, it says how to get your API key. You will just need to make your automation and your zap and your API key will be available on the credentials page. So you want to go ahead and find your automation that you have, uh, you have created. Just go ahead and find that zap and click on the zap and to, uh, in your zaps right here to get the credentials and there you'll be able to find your API key. But yeah, guys, basically that is it how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.